Hey, good morning, fam. What's up, everyone? How's everyone doing on this Friday? Today, Space Jam New Legacy comes out, and I can't wait to watch it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited about the movie. You know, when the original one came out, I was uh, 10 years old. I believe I was 10 years old. Uh, that was 1996, and that was my favorite, of course, because it had my favorite player of all time, the GOAT, my GOAT, Michael Jordan. Uh, but let's get right to it today. Let's talk a little bit about the Lakers. You know, I haven't talked about the Lakers much since they were eliminated uh, from the playoffs, taking that early exit to, to the Phoenix Suns. Well, I'm back to talk about the Lakers this morning, and I got my morning coffee with me. Mmm. You know, this gives me a kick every morning. I can't go without coffee in the mornings. But let's get right to it, guys. Can Lonzo Ball come back to the Lakers? Can he end up back where it all started? Um, There's a slight chance. I don't really see it happening. And I'm going to explain why. For one, Lonzo Ball is demanding $18 million a year. Uh, the Lakers can't afford that unless they clear cap space. And if they are going to if they are going to clear cap space, they're gonna have to move some players around. They're gonna have to maneuver some players, they're gonna have to make some deals. You know, Rob Palinka, he's gonna have to get creative, he's gonna have to entertain all offers. And he's going to have to listen to all offers. He's going to have to get on the phone and see what he can do. Now, he was empowered to build this Laker team. And he has constructed the team pretty well. Although they can use a, another guard who can shoot. Someone who uh, can get it done offensively. They can use another guard like that. They don't have that. Uh, Lonzo can come back to the Lakers in, you know, restricted free agency this summer. He will be a restricted free agent, uh, which means the Pelicans would have the power uh, to match any offer sheet. But New Orleans has made it very clear that they do not expect to match any offers. So in other words, what that means Lonzo Ball most likely Lonzo Ball most likely won't be back um you know with the Pelicans next season. The Lakers can bring Lonzo back to LA. Uh but they would have to reannounce the biggest cap hold they have, you know, on the books and that's Dennis Schroeder. Now Dennis Schroeder disappointed me in the playoffs. You know, um, that we can go back to that blown layup. I can't remember what game that was. Was it game six, game five? One of them, you know. And this is a guy who wants a massive contract. This is a guy who is seeking a hundred million, somewhere around that range. He's crazy if he thinks he's gonna get that. He's bat shit crazy because I would not pay him that much money. Um, what has he done to earn that much money? Nothing. He didn't show up when the Lakers needed him to show up. You know, um, he missed a lot of shots. He, you know, didn't play like a player that's worth a hundred million. He just didn't play like that. But Dennis Schroeder will earn twenty four million this year. Uh, the Lakers currently have a hundred and ten point two million on their books, and that's accounting for five players, five guaranteed. But five players guaranteed to be, you know, on the books. Um, also, five million will be deferred to Lou Aldang. You guys remember Lou Aldang? How did that turn out? That didn't turn out too well, right? Uh, you know, they also have the salary for the, the number 22 overall pick. Um, you know, that's at 20, at that's at 2.4 million. I'm sorry. So, yes, Rob Palinka has a busy offseason. It's going to be interesting interesting, interesting to see what he does this offseason. And don't forget, uh, if Montrell Harrell uh, opts into his 9.7 uh, million player option on his contract, then, you know, that jumps, that 
jumps up the salary cap as well. So I think the only option here, if you, uh, if landing Lonzo Ball is a realistic possibility, you will have to renounce uh, Dennis Schroeder uh, cap hold and let him walk as an unrestricted free agent. Um, you know, you can also renounce the cap holds of Jared Dudley, uh, Wesley Matthews, uh, Marquise Morris. Uh, they they'll probably resign uh, for the veterans menu um, menu uh, menu. <coughs> God, uh, menu Mi minimum. Oh God, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Um, the minimum, the minimum. There we go. The minimum, the veterans minimum. I'm sorry for that. Uh, I apologize, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, I think, you know, uh, Rob Palinka will figure it out. And Lonzo Ball was here before, and, you know, he didn't live up to the hype. You know, there was so much buzz surrounding him coming into the league. Uh, you know, that's the second thing right there. Do we bring him back knowing uh, that he didn't live up to, you know, those – weighty expectations that was placed upon him while he was here do you take that back or do you look elsewhere on the market and see what else is available out there and try to uh you know help improve your team with a major upgrade you know i like damian Lillard, but that doesn't seem realistic at this point you know i like russell westbrook a lot of laker fans don't want that to happen but I mean, hey, if he can score points, that's what they need. They need a scorer. He, he can do that for you. I know he's a very selfish player, and he doesn't make his teammates around him better. That's another option to look at as well. I just don't see Lonzo Ball coming back because he's asking for too much, and it would be very difficult to make that happen. Um, I'm pretty sure he would like to reunite uh, with the Lakers where it all started. You know, it was always his dream to be a Laker, but, you know, I mean, it, it taps into the reality for some who are desperate for Alonzo's return, but I'm skeptical of the reunion. Like I said, I just don't see it happening. It, it doesn't seem realistic to me. He might end up somewhere else. I don't know where, but it won't be with the Lakers. You guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. I apologize for my speech impediment. I'm working on that, but I thank you guys for bearing with me. And I thank all my viewers for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. I would love that. You know, you guys are awesome. I want to thank all you guys because without you guys, none of this is possible. Enjoy your Friday. Watch Space Jam. Take care.